Hey guys, it's Liddy here from LA3D and today I'm going to be designing and printing my own 3D printed molds for making cement pots. So let's get started. Alright, so I just want to jump into this video really quick. Uh, basically what is going to be happening is I'm going to be designing in Fusion 360 um, some molds. Um, and actually you guys are only going to see one design, the first design that I attempted. Um, and then later on I will be making more designs and testing out uh, different like um, basically just different designs of molds that I will be 3D printing on all my printers with Polymaker's Polysmooth Filament. Once again, you guys know that Polymaker uh, sponsors me and um, sends me their Polysmooth Filament to help me with all my projects. So I thought that would be the best filament to be using for this video to try to get the best quality pots out of these molds that will be printed um, and to try take away the stress of sanding and finishing the prints so that the um, pots will come out nicely. So once again I'll be using that filament, smoothing it in the polisher that I also have um, that vaporizes uh, rubbing alcohol. There are, is lots of trial and error so I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you at the end. Alright, so now heading into Simplify 3D, um, I'm just going to be printing this on the TiVo Tarantula Pro, and then I'm just going to show you guys here, these are all my plain settings, um, and I'm using some new settings from Simplify 3D's Instagram posts, as you guys can see here up in the top left corner, um, they've posted lots of tips and tricks on making your prints way better, so um, I've definitely kept those in mind to try to get the best print quality out of this um, new pot design. So, uh, I didn't change much in the advanced settings, but I do go back and, um, change the outline perimeters to three instead of two, and then make sure you have print inside sequence without optimization. Um, and then I'm going to change, 
the infill to, I believe, 18. You will see that in a second. But I'm going to print both of these at the same time and make sure that the orientation is as simple as it can be so I don't have to use any support. So I just have to change one of these um, 180 degrees to make sure it prints flat. And um, these actually are really small. Um, when I designed it, I designed it in the smaller size, so I can definitely scale this up in the future, um, but it just makes things easier um, to scale up rather than to scale down later on um, in the future when I want to make bigger pots. So as you can see here, I am going to print it at 18% infill. Once again, it has three perimeters to make sure it is very strong and it doesn't break. And once again, this will be printed in the white Polymakers Poly Smooth Filament and printed on my brand new TiVo Tarantula Pro. I think it comes out with great quality prints. And once again, I definitely recommend that printer. And now we're going to save it to the SD card for the printer and send it off to print. Alright, so as you guys can see it printed out and it actually is really small um, and what I'm using here is some oil and baby powder to make sure it doesn't stick to anything and then I'm mixing water and plaster of Paris and this other um, type of concrete, it wasn't really concrete, it was this like tile filling stuff, um, so I mix it all up and put it in there, it was really hard to get it in the mold because the mold was so small. Um, but I just kept shaking it, and it was super, super watery. Um, so then I actually, you guys won't see, but it didn't work because it didn't harden completely. So I scratched that mold and decided to make a new one, as you can see here. But this is scaled up a little bit more, and I made sure I put um, lots of oil on it. Um, I don't, as you guys will see, I didn't put enough on it. Um, but I got some quick creek concrete and made a thin batch here and it was went in super easy, flowed in there very nice and I filled it up completely and then let it dry. So about a day or two after, I let it dry and pried it apart. The, the mold came apart just fine except for the one part. As you can see here, I tried to scrape it out but unfortunately it doesn't come on stuck. So that scratch and I really wanted to see if this mold design would actually work eventually so I did it one more time but put lots of oil on it, lots of extra oil uh, sealed it up once again with tape and made a nice pasty consistency of my quick creek concrete mix and just dumped it in there, went in there very nice and easily and now we'll wait to see if that hardens. So as I waited for that to um, completely set. I wanted to design a new one so I put oil and baby powder in this one also. It was completely smooth with the polisher. Um, once again it is in Polymakers Poly Smooth Filament um, and um, at this time I actually didn't have the concrete mix either so I m did exactly what I did before with the um, other powder and then the plaster of Paris. Mixed it together a thick paste and put the little green thing in the middle um, but as you can see here, it didn't work very well, and then um, I let it dry completely, and the green thing in the middle didn't even come out. So I wanted to try one more time with the concrete mix to see if that would make it a lot easier to work, and um, made sure once again that everything was nice and smooth, and also everything was coated with oil, because I didn't want anything to stick to the sides, just to make sure everything came out and worked. So I dumped it all in there once again put the insert in and that is when the insert um, didn't come out once again I tried to pry it out as you can see with players uh, but I just give up on that design and made a whole new one um, I haven't I'm not gonna show you guys how I design these because um, a lot of them don't work but I just put these together once again with little pegs some of them worked and some of them didn't but then I just held it together with some clamps made sure everything was oiled up and Everything was smooth. Once again, this was polished, so everything was smooth as it was. Made a nice consistency and dumped it all in there. Very confident that this would work and nothing would stick. And it, when I would pry it apart like it should have worked, um, everything would come apart and look really nice. So I let this sit overnight for about two days. Back two days later, thinking everything is completely fine and um, it was very, very dry from the top because I did have a test sample. One side came off very nice, but the other 
unfortunately, as you can see on the bottom, it had like a little chip and it got stuck in the corner. Um, so I just kept trying to get that out, but eventually I just used some tape, as you can see here, to try fix the corner to make it look a little nicer. And um, now we will see what that looks like when it's completely dry. So I will, as you see, I will have to clean it up a little bit and sand it and take the bottle cap that's in the bottom of it out. But other than that, I think it looks a lot better than it did before. So now this is a brand new mold that I actually did design. It's one of the simplest molds. As you can see, it's just thin, um, simple, and it has these little uh, clamps on the side. Now I did not polish this because I wanted to see how well it would work with just oil. So I just oiled it up and then once again made this smooth consistency. Um, and just the inside has the flexible uh, insert in it. Um, so I just had to shake out all of the holes and then let that completely dry also. So I let that dry um, and then I just peeled it away and unfortunately I didn't push the middle part down enough. So yeah, it turned out fine, but I wanted to restart one more time, make sure everything was oiled and actually oiled that middle part up a little bit more um, and literally did the same exact thing but uh, pushed the middle part down a little bit um, more than it was before so that it could have a little bit on the bottom um, but unfortunately um, when I did that uh, I li well I lifted it up just a little bit and then pushed it back down tapped out all of the um, air bubbles um, but then when it was finished um, as you can see when I when I pull it out here, um, basically I pushed it down way too much uh, because as you can see the bottom fell out. Uh, and then here is the final um, try of the bowl mold basically and this unfortunately didn't work at all. I don't really know what the problem was um, but it just didn't come out. Alright so I want to do one more mold and this is a hexagon mold. Um, it's a little different. Uh, it's basically doing everything the same. It's kind of like the circle one where it has the clips on the side. Uh, once again, everything is the same with the cement, um, but then this has a, a hexagonal insert, as you guys see the blue thing up there. Um, but then eventually, when everything hardens, um, it is way too thick, and it's not as rubbery as it should be because it is TPU. Um, I printed it too thick, so I actually printed a new insert, and then that came out way easier in the next test. Um, but other than that, this is probably one of the easiest molds that I made. Um, just a little bit of cleanup was necessary, but other than that, uh, probably one of my favorite molds. Alright guys, so that is it for the video. Now, uh, once again, as you guys know, this wasn't the first, basically, video for doing these pots. I did lots of trial and error on another video, which I will, for sure, link down below in the description so you guys can go check that out. Um, but I did still have lots of fails with all of these molds as you guys saw I did multiple molds different types um, I did successfully make a couple um, but I did also have to do some adjustments to the ones that actually uh, worked and also this one that you guys saw that looks like a donut what I'm gonna be doing is um, printing an insert that will go in the middle and then um, a bottom that will go on the outside so basically when you put a plant in there it will have a little bit of drainage but it will go in a little dish so there will be lots of pictures on my Instagram and my Twitter um, so once again those will be down below in the description make sure you go follow me and uh, like my pages um, and I will definitely keep you guys updated on there um, and once again I just used quick concrete um, to make these and I did use plaster of Paris in the beginning but that unfortunately didn't work. Um, but I will be doing lots more testing. I won't be making another video about it, but on my own. And I'm definitely going to try different, kind of, different kinds of release agents, um, like mold release, instead of just using oil. Maybe that would work on some of the other molds that I made. But I definitely had a lot of fun just experimenting and trying to make my own little designs. Um, also following other YouTube videos online, um, just to try to do it on my own. And then just designing lots of new things in Fusion 360. And learning a lot more about Fusion 360 and the different things I can do on there. So I really hope you guys enjoyed following along with me. I know it wasn't really a tutorial video or anything. But I definitely wanted to show you guys. So maybe one day you would want to attempt to make your own pot molds. Because it is really efficient. And if you have lots of 3D printers like me. Um, and not the money to go buy silicone mold making um, kits. Then trying to make your own molds is definitely very useful. So once again, that is it for the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, all the links you will need to know will be down below in the description, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.